Hey guys, Cal here bringing you another video. This one going to be Town Hall 11 Electro Dragons farming. Not sneaky goblins today. Uh, just doing another farming strategy for those who do not want to use sneaky goblins or do not attack enough to use sneaky goblins. Uh, the big reason why I'm using ooh, Electro Dragons here is because this is one of the accounts that I can't play on as much uh, so I don't have the time to do it, a lot of Sneaky Goblin raids. So uh, I thought I'd show you guys what I do when I'm not Sneaky Goblin raiding and that is Electro Dragons. Uh, let's see, so for Electro Dragons you want to snipe out, use, use some of your Electro Dragons to take out important things like these here uh, drills, so one and two. Uh, and to do that, I think I'm just going to use one Electro Dragon in a Rage. Uh, and then what we need to do is come in and take out this area right here uh, with the rest of our Electro Dragons. So uh, in order to do that, we need to do a bit of funneling. Uh, we have three Rages, so I think I'll use one of those Rages and an Electro Dragon to really clear out this area right here so that we can then send our Electro Dragons right here through that. Uh, making sure to use our heal spells nice and early to protect those Electro Dragons. So, I'm going to start right here by Electro Dragon Rage. If the Queen does engage our Electro Dragon here, I am going to have to freeze. Um, uh, which it is, so we'll freeze right here and hopefully take out that Dark Elixir. Good, and now we'll move on to this half of the funnel, which we will go... Rage, Electro Dragon, and I'll freeze this air defense. Uh, and we'll keep freezing it until it goes down. Uh, we'll freeze again. Man, it is really not wanting to freeze. Uh, destroy this one air defense. Which is unfortunate that it destroyed every single building besides that one building we wanted. But it is what it is. Uh, I don't have any heroes, but I am going to use a Stone Slammer because I'm Town Hall... Oh wait, I'm not Town Hall 12, I'm Town Hall 11, so I won't use the Stone Slammer to help form a funnel here. I'm just going to let this E-Dragon kind of work right here alongside with this one uh, to really form each side of this funnel so that we can move into this Town Hall compartment. So we'll drop these and we'll go like that. And we'll use a freeze early for this air defense and we'll rage up early to really clear out all these buildings. We might not get this town hall, but we will get most of everything else, I believe. So let's pray for the Dark Elixir. Oh man. Electro Dragons. Not really doing it for me today, but. It is what it is, I guess. <laughs> but we got that 4K. So, not terrible. It's 1,000 less than I would like to get. But that was a Town Hall... Uh, what's it called? 13. So maybe we were biting off a little more than we could chew right there. But let's move on to the next one. I'll be sure to show you more successful raids in the, the replays. But this being the second Electro Dragon video I've done uh, and that one also had a failed attack in it so maybe Electro Dragons might not be the best but or at least maybe I'm doing something a little bit wrong but I have been doing this for a little bit I have s switched to Sneaky Goblins but uh, this is how I used to get Dark Elixir back in the day so maybe I need to just pick better bases Another base that might be a bit difficult. Hopefully we won't um, fail this one. It is a Town Hall 11 or Town Hall 12. But there's 8k Dark Elixir. So even if we fail this attack, we still will get easy Dark Elixir from these drills. Which will be more than enough to make up for it. So I think our lowest low is more than a high at Town Hall uh, 11. So, we'll go for it, um, and hopefully we get all of the Dark Elixir, or at least most of the Dark Elixir. Uh, what do we need to do here? So, 
Let's see. We're gonna go here. We're gonna freeze if the everything is targeting us. So it is. So we'll freeze. Um, that will take that out. And I think we'll come from this bottom half over here. So let's go E drag. Hit that, and we'll rage it if it goes to that archer tower next. So, yep. So we'll rage and keep on chugging. Boom! Nice one side of the funnel finished. Uh, and I think we'll go here. Rage. Hopefully, it takes out that air defense. It did not. It changed to the air defense, but did not take it out. Uh, and we'll just send the rest in right here to go straight into that core. Hopefully get funneled in by that Archer Queen. We'll freeze her and then we'll rage, freeze, and freeze to hopefully get this Dark Elixir. Come on, nice. We hit the Dark Elixir, so that's going to be uh, the Dark Elixir taken. We do not take down this Town Hall 12. Again, not... Uh, getting everything, but we did get that 7k, which I talked about, which is better than what we were aiming for with at least 5k uh, parade. So we did successfully get 10k Dark Elixir in our two raids. Um, not the most successful raids, but they worked. And as long as you get that 10k, uh, I'd say it is a success. We'll move on to uh, another raid. This one is going to be Town Hall 11. And this one we also got 5k, so we didn't get everything again. But we got most of it. So here we're doing some corner funneling for each one of those uh, drills. We're going to rage up here because I believe we're forming a funnel to come in from the backside of this Town Hall. Um, unless I have different plans, we're going to freeze. That freeze was a bit late, so we're not going to actually get any extra hits. Oh, we do get an extra hit. Nice. And I'll pause right here, because this is a good example on we funneled this side and this side. So all that's left for our E-drags to do, let me, this side and this side is gone. So all that's left is this area right here for our E-drags uh, with two rages and four freezes should be enough to get all the way through. Um, and if we had a warden, it would be even easier. But let's go look at this one again. So we're freezing that eagle and that air defense together, and we're just going to keep doing it because those are the things that are going to threaten our E-drags the most. We're going to do two rages right there to make sure that our, all our E-drags are constantly in rage um, before they head into this town hall area. Um, and they're going to get here and then hit that dark elixir, but we're not going to get that town hall. Um, if you... If you do have the Nectar Rage, don't uh, hold on to them like I am. I'm just doing this for educational purposes to show that you can do it without um, the use of CC help. But if you have that CC help, by all means, be uh, take advantage of that. We definitely would have gone that Town Hall if I used that Rage in the core. Because if you notice, with only three Rages, we usually get about to the Town Hall before we run a bit short. Um, and the E-Drags really need that rage to just one-shot things because they take so long to destroy, or to shoot, that when you don't one-shot something and you're really standing there for a long time, it really hurts your uh, chances of getting through this core. But we're going to freeze here. We did some funneling on the side so that we get to this core. Not the best job funneling because uh, we're coming from this corner and we lost an E-Drag to the left, but that E-Drag is going to help funnel the rest of our dragons into the middle. And we also got some dragons to the side, so we didn't do a great funnel. But, if you notice, we did have our Rage right there on top of the Town Hall because we used our Rages kind of in a line instead of side to side. And because we did that, we were able to get a Rage onto the Town Hall, uh, taking it out. So, I hope even though our first attack was a bit of a fail, um, I hope that second attack, which uh, was still a little fail, but we did get the important stuff, so I would consider it a success. Um, and showing those two successful replays gave you an idea on what you need to do to use E-Drags at Town Hall 11 to get that Dark Elixir to get down these heroes. 
like I have, um, and progress your way through the game as quickly as possible. So, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.